What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about a few different Grayscale trusts today. We're talking about LTCN, ETCG, GXLM, GSOL, and FileG, all for some guy, Rockwell, and T-Roy. We're talking about these for you guys, so buckle up. Let's get started. Um, I am going to pause the music right now. I'm going to try to do these a little bit quicker because I have talked about all of them relatively recently, right? Um, yeah, LTCN having a bit of a a time and a half, isn't it? It's being very resilient right now. Um, you are at a point where it, it would kind of make sense for you to turn around, but that's a nice day that you had there to close the week. Um, you did close the week red, but not, not terribly. You did close it red. You did close it red. Okay. So I think you are destined for 1575. 1575, if you go higher from here, it's not going to be by much. You could break this high, but it's not going to be by much. 1575 is where you're going before you go higher. LTCN, really easy. That's my thoughts on that. Uh, ET, we'll even talk about BCHG. Um, even though I don't have it as anybody requested it, but I'm sure somebody did. And I just didn't write it down because I only do two requests per person per day. But we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it still. I don't know, man. BCHG looks like it wants to go higher. And I'm pretty sure BCH is doing things too, so who knows? Yeah, higher low or lower lower low in your RSI, higher lows in the price. Relative low to high here. I don't know, man. You you could go lower too. You could pull all the way back to seven bucks, but for now it looks pretty good. It's a rare call, what I'm about to say, but I, I think BCHG might move up while LTCN moves down that actually could happen but I don't know man I want to look at BCH before I before I really make that call okay maybe I was wrong yeah yeah BCHG might move down too yeah we're at 425 now it's nice we had a little bit of a little bit of a rally today that was nice but lower highs nonetheless looks like we're finding resistance there so we probably we probably do go down I would think BCHG goes down that makes sense because they very rarely move apart from each other LTCN and BCHG so it probably does move down and again the area that I'd look for is around seven dollars we're at 1047 now seven dollars 693 or lower a little bit lower if if it was to be an or lower scenario that's that's BCHG let's talk about ETCG for some guy here higher lows looking good I think you want to move higher I think you look good I think you want to move higher yeah did I pause the music? The music is paused. I don't even know if it was playing. I forget at this point. Yeah, you look like you want to go higher, man. You look like you were consolidating right here. You broke out, back tested for support at previous areas of resistance. You're, you haven't even seen the aftermath of that uh, significance right there. So you probably do want to move higher. High to low here. We'll see you at about $25, man. Yeah. 25, that's where I think you're going. If you go lower from here, it's not going to be by much. You're on a nonstop train to $25. Now, is it going to happen overnight? Probably not. But it could, but probably not. This thing looks like it likes to take its time. Moves up, small small spurts, and then moves sideways, large spurts. Moves up, small spurts, moves sideways. Um, it could be May that we see prices up at $25 or potentially all the way up to $32. Somewhere somewhere in between these two white lines, $25 and $32. But that's that's ETCG looking good, unstoppable until then. GXLM, Grayscale Stellar Lumens, also looking good. Pretty overbought, but you could get more overbought. I want to look at the daily. Hmm. I wish you had volume. I wish you had more volume. I think you want to go lower. Yep. We'll see you at $31. You're at $54.50. If not $31, then maybe $36 or revisit that $41 area. But double bottom here, I would think that you do go lower. Let's look at the three hour real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm not impressed by the volume, man. That things can change, but my expectation at this point in time, yeah, would be that you're going at least to 41, if not all the way down to about 31 or somewhere in between. That's GXLM, G Soul, 
Goal. G Soul. There we go. Um, all right. Still have that symmetrical triangle look, kind of. Once you break, we'll know, but you haven't really done that yet. So you've got this kind of like, that, that, that was a horribly drawn first line there. Something like this, and then something like this. When you break, we'll know. Is it going to be up? Is it going to be down? I don't know. If it goes down, maybe you find a double bottom. Maybe you find a slightly lower low. Maybe you find a slightly higher low. If it goes up, well, you'll probably see prices around $700 or higher. Um, but for now, we're waiting. We're waiting till next week. So nothing really. If I, if I had to guess, if I had to give it my best assumption, I would say I, it looks like it would break to the upside. But everything about this screams consolidation, right? Look at look at it, right? You can see you can see the symmetrical triangle look, right? The descending highs, the ascending lows, the volume is dying off. When we break out, which will be next week, it'll it'll either be on Monday or probably by Wednesday, we will break out either up or down. When you see more volume than this day here, that'll be the signal. Okay. If you get a move up like this, and it's less volume, you get a, you get less volume. Don't get excited. You could you could continue higher, but you just as well could also break down. You know, symmetrical triangles, wedges, they're known for fake outs. So be aware of that. Same thing if you break down. If the volume's not impressive, don't be don't be scared, right? And next week, I mean you could, you could go down here, and that still looks fine on this uh, triangle. So you could move you're at 395, you could move all the way down to 330 um, and still be fine. So don't be scared, be prepared. But when the volume comes in, when we take out that volume. When we were higher than that volume in whatever direction we choose, that will be the conviction that I'll need to, to dictate if we're moving lower or higher. For now, we're at 395. We could move as low as 330 and still be fine. However, if we move up too much higher, if we break like 420, I, I think it's on to the upside. But we need volume to back it up. So that's that's G Soul file G here. This one is impossible, man. <laughs> I don't even know why I talk about it because it's it's honestly really hard. I know why I talk about it. You guys request it. I don't mean it like that, okay? I just mean like it's it's such it's such a headache to look at. Uh, accumulation phase of a lifetime for Filecoin. Looking like it wants to break out. You are encroaching upon breakout territory, man. You are you're literally there right now. You just haven't seen your follow through yet. Um, so until then. While you're consolidating, file G could move down, it could move up, it, it can do whatever it wants to. Um, let's look at the daily real quick for file. File coin looks like it wants to go lower. It does, so I would assume file G does want to go down. And I'm looking at file coin specifically because this this chart gives me a headache, man. It's so it's so patchy. Yeah, very bearish engulfing candle there. Follow through this week, you're probably going down, and that shouldn't be a surprise. You're at a 93 on your RSI, essentially. You're at a 92.8, but we will probably see file G all the way back down at least at 133 and at most down to $68. And remember, you guys, it's very common when interacting with that 382 on your first pass to go a little bit below it. So if you go to $58, you're fine. You're fine, probably. Probably. Um, you could go lower. You could go to your 0.5. You could go all the way back down here as well. But I'm more looking for something in this area personally, probably right off this 382 and then up. So we'll see you at $68. Minimum expectation is 133. We're at 195 now. That's all I got for you. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you very much, everybody, uh, for, the, for the subscribes. I really do appreciate it, man. I'm at over 5,000 subscribers right now and growing day by day. This month, out of all the months that I've done uh, videos, this is the third largest month for subscribers that I've had. So very, very grateful. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the OGs. Soon enough, guys, you're all going to be OGs. You're, you're, my, <clears throat> you're my top 10,000 subscribers. I remember when I had this video or I, I had this uh, discussion like a year ago and I was like, you guys are my top 100 subscribers. Like, and those, those guys are the OG OGs, man. Like Ethan, Ethan Gallstead. I know a lot of you guys who, who watch the grayscale uh, videos. I forget if he was in the top hundred. I know he was at least in the top 200, but he was, he was early, early man. And, uh, you know, I've, 
I know that there's some other uh, OGs as well. I'm not going to go through and shout everybody out, but I don't I don't know every single person that was in the top 100 or top 200. I do appreci appreciate all of you guys. Just like I don't know everybody who's in the top 10,000. But whenever, whenever it grows even beyond that, I very much do appreciate you guys. Let yourself be known, man. Like, show some love in the comments you know you don't have to you don't you don't have to but but just say hey you know i just started watching or started watching a year ago or whatever i've just been silent like whatever like there's there's nothing wrong with that man uh and if you don't want to you don't want to comment that's okay too i appreciate you nonetheless thank you for viewing thank you for hitting the likes thank you for your continued support and just intrigue in these uh technical analysis videos man i really do appreciate all of you guys a lot and uh I'm just excited to see where the channel will go, man. I, I really am excited to see where the channel goes. Um, when the summertime comes, I've got some... Sp it's not like crazy special, but I've got some special things, uh, some silly things planned, but we'll we'll see. Uh, if we get some good weather, and I think we, think we will. I've got a big deck out there, man, so when it's summertime and it's not wintertime, uh, it's not cold and there's not snow out there, I, I will definitely do some outdoor videos that hopefully bring a different vibe, bring a little bit of a fun vibe, but I'm just talking, man. I'm going on. Really, all I'm trying to say is I'm grateful to every single one of you. Whether I know your name, your, your username, you know, whether I don't, whether you've been proactive in the community or not, you know, I, I appreciate all, all of you very, very much. So thank you for being here. Thank you for continuing to show up. I will continue to show up for you. And yeah, man, that's the uh, that's the analysis. We're just getting started with the bull market, guys. Things are gonna get even more exciting than they've been now. If things pull back from here, it's okay. It's only gonna get better. Take care. Bye bye.